Bolillos are uh, like a mini sub roll that uh, they use a lot for their lunch and dinner in the Mexican community or Hispanic community. And uh, it's very important on how you cut the bolillo so it can open up right. And uh, steam has a lot to do with the opening also. I'm going to show you how the scoring goes on the bolillo dough. When you score it, you cut at an angle, but you cut like a C backwards. This here is the telera. It's a, it's a sandwich roll. It's made out of the bolillo dough also, but uh, you're gonna uh, have two, two indentions on the top, and I'll show you how to do them. Okay, on this here, you wanna keep the middle puffy and the sides here, you, you just want to kind of go like that. This is the way you put the, the two indentations on the teleras. You use your small rolling pin on one side and then on the other side, leaving a gap in the middle. And this here is the way you set it on your on your tray. Same thing on the end, on the other end, and then just stretch a little set on your tray. It'll take about 45 minutes to an hour to proof. You bake these at, uh, start off at uh, 425, give it 20 seconds steam, and then drop it down to 380 for another 15 minutes. One of the complaints that we get a lot when we go to the bakery is that uh, why, the, why is the product coming out like this instead of like this? Uh, the, the one reason that we've uh, come up with, they've, they've been blaming our, our base, that our base wasn't uh, any good or something wrong with our base, but uh, all along it's been the flour. It doesn't have enough protein in the flour to give you the, the, the kick in it. For these here, we use a, a high gluten flour. And uh, if you use a patent flour, you'll get this product. And uh, with a high gluten, you get this product. 